So the Armagosaurus was announced by Wildcard as one of the next official dinos coming to the free map later this year, The Lost Island. In today's video, I will be putting together all of the information you guys need to know about this brand new dino, all of the stuff that Wildcard have told us about the new features, and it really does seem to be an awesome new dino. Now as always, if you guys do enjoy these videos, smash that like button, let's see if we could get over 700 likes on today's video. Make sure to be subscribed if you're not subscribed already, and also a massive thank you again for over 200,000 subscribers. So let's get straight on with the Armagosaurus, starting with a tweet by Dolly on Twitter, who obviously works with Wildcard, and she went on to say, I think the Armagosaurus is a pretty cool guy. Uh, it kills armors and doesn't and basically isn't afraid of anything looking forward to ascendant dino saddles getting wrecked by the damage that this plays off so a lot of you guys are probably thinking what like wh what is going to be going on with this like how is it going to damage armor and that is what i'm going to let you guys know in today's video so as you can see, it is a herbivore and it is aggressive. It's really cool to have these old school um, dino sort of, you know, dossiers that we used to have back from the beginning of Ark because Wildcard stopped doing them. And this is what I love about free maps when they give us loads of dinos is it kind of brings back that old feeling of when we first played Ark back in 2016, 2017, 2018. It was just so much fun. Now, so let's read through some of the stuff. So the wild thing of the Armagosaurus. Of all of the creatures in the sauropod family, the Armagosaurus is likely the most unique looking. It sports two parallel rows of dorsal spines down the length of its neck, back and tail, um, though the neck spines are significantly longer than the back or tail spines. These spines are a remarkable adaption, giving the Armagosaurus unmatched control of its body temperature. Made even more incredible by the time on the arcs, these spines store both extreme heat and extreme cold, effectively allowing the Armagosaurus to live comfortably in any environment. Its sails also make it a very capable swimmer for a sauropod. Now, I did a lot of research on the Armagosaurus, and I did find out that the, the sails that it has was actually meant to be something that helped it swim back in the past. Obviously, no one knows if that's 100% because no one was uh, obviously alive. We weren't alive back then. We didn't have social media, but obviously that is something that they have found out. Unlike most sauropods, Armagosaurus is very prone to violence, attacking most predators and humans on sight. I suspect the behavior developed alongside the dangerous binds it uses as weapons. So this isn't going to be something that's just going to be added in like any, you know, any normal sauropod. This is going to be an aggressive dino that you're going to have to watch out for that is going to cause damage. A lot of people, you know, when you see one, you just expect it to be friendly and it's really not going to be. It's going to be dangerous. It's going to attack most predators and I'm it's, I'm sure it probably won't. I mean, it might attack a Giga, you never know, but um, it will definitely be attacking Rexes and stuff. I'm sure it will because it's going to be quite big. Once... Obviously, the domesticated thing, once finally tamed, it's no surprise that the Armagosaurus spines are its best feature. If removed early, their thermal storage becomes erratic, which is perfect for capitalizing sap development in many trees. Some tribes, of course, adapted this thermal quirk for combat by having Armagosaurus eject a spine before it sheds naturally, the freezing slash warming waves that um, and emate from... Um, uh, uh, sorry, emanate. I, I can't even pronounce it. What is going on? From the spike, uh, play havoc with armor in the area. In the area, interestingly, simple armor is barely affected, while more complex armor is he more heavily affected. So let's talk that in Dom language, because like I always mess up words. So basically more like complex armors which i do have a little bit of a uh, bit of information about what armor it's going to be able to damage will be affected so simple armor like you know beginning hide armor is not going to have a problem when you're coming across the armagosaurus but when it comes to advanced armor it is an advanced armor destroyer so let's go through the roles about the armagosaurus environmental travel Supposedly capable of quickly traveling through water and providing insulation, the Armagosaurus can make a great travel mount. Sap collector, and also as I mentioned, advanced armor destroyer. It is assumed that the Armagosaurus will deal increased durability damage to those arm um, to those who have advanced armor, such as Riot, Flak, 
chitted or chitin, however you pronounce it, whilst ignoring less protective gear such as ghillie and cloth armor and hide armor, which is very, very interesting. So far about the Armagosaurus, we know that it is tameable, but we don't know whether it's rideable or breedable. I'm sure with the size of the Armagosaurus, there's no ch I suppose maybe, I was about to say with the size of it, there's no chance you're not going to be able to ride it. But with these spikes that go down its back, it will be interesting to see if it ends up being a rideable mount. I'm sure it will be. I can't imagine Wildcard wouldn't give us something like that, but it looks very, very cool. In the comment section down below, let me know what you think about the Armagosaurus and... If you have any other information to share with us in the comment section, because I know so many of you guys know your knowledge on dinosaurs. So if you have big and extra news that you want to share with everyone, put it in the comment section. And then obviously I will highlight that and I will favorite some of the most awesome ones with the most likes. So you guys can learn a little bit more information of what to expect with the Armagosaurus. Coming with the new map, as as always, um, there is going to, well, not as always, but there is going to be three dinos in total. Armagosaurus, another one announced by Wildcard later on in the year. And obviously, you would have seen that there is a community vote where you can vote for a chosen creature in Ark Survival Evolve. So... This could be, there is a list right now where you can go and put one that hasn't been posted already. And obviously, um, you know, and if yours gets quite a lot of votes and, you know, and people want that to come to the game, then you may see that as the, you know, one of the third dinos coming to Ark Survival Evolved. Something you need to know as well about the dinosaur vote is that the top 10 most uh, voted picks will go into the next round and then Wildcard, I suppose, will make their decision or maybe what the most, maybe they'll do like a voting thing in the community when with the top 10 um, and then whatever gets the most votes out of the top 10 ones will come to the official game with the Lost Island. I really can't wait for the new map. I'm going to be making lots of videos talking about it, reviewing new updates to come up with it on the mod, um, uh, on the Steam Workshop as well. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope that gives you a little bit more of an insight of what to expect with the Armagosaurus. Leave a like, subscribe, and thank you again for over 200,000 subscribers.